All right, guys, so a little cold galvanizing compound, laser, uh, CO2 laser etching metal. Let's see if this works. Got settings of uh, running 100 meters, millimeters per second and 50% power. Turn frow on here. Load eight. Just a little too low, that's a bummer. So I'm gonna have to do this one again, but I guess we can see how durable. That's what I'll do, I'll durability test it. Yeah, that's bad placement there. Oopsie, glad it wasn't a... I'm gonna have to figure out what's whistling. That exhaust has started to whistle and that is... Might drive me batty. So there it is, fresh off the laser. Needs to come up some. But I guess we can, we'll test and see how durable this is. All right, so let's get the, uh, get the galvanizing compound off this thing. So it turned out pretty well. It's got like a brushed finish on there, but obviously I cut off his chin. So let's see how durable this stuff is. So what I'm gonna do, took an old piece of 220 grit. So it's still there, but not as good as it could be. But obviously, I mean, we're physically removing material here. Can't focus that enough, isn't it? So it shouldn't be able to survive this. No, nah, because it's, I mean, I'm removing metal. But there's still some on there. You can see, so it would seem like every day wear and tear, it would last. I mean, it's even still, there's a ghost image of it. See it right there? And the ghost image is pretty obvious um, in person. And you can see. Oh, that's real obvious now. Wow, that's kind of cool looking, actually. Um, that's pretty neat. So there is definitely... That's actually like that better, I think, than the, uh, than the original. It's kind of... Than, uh, than the black. Because it's kind of there and kind of not. For this piece, that would be really cool. That's interesting. So here's the other side. I was practicing on this side too. So it's still there, but I haven't really rubbed it too much. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go to a little bit higher grit. 
Our lower grit, what do I have here? 220, here's some 80. 80 will take care of it. No, 80 grit. And it seems like it's just making it show up better. Well, that's both cool and kind of disappointing because I need to fix his chin. Um, what is this? So now I'm just going to really have to work this out. But for this piece, God, it's not, it's not going away. Hard to see on camera, but it's still there. I mean, even you can still see his nose. So we're getting there now. But I mean, you can see we're definitely, you can see that material we're removing. And the ghost is still there. The ghost of the ATF. He is still there. See him? So I would say the, uh, depending on your use case, the galvanizing may work really well on something like a Yeti. I don't know. I haven't done a Yeti. This is my first time playing with, playing with it. Still there. I wonder, uh, it's, it's lessening though. Still there. Not anywhere near as obvious, but you can still see it. So there is definitely a reaction taking place because I'm literally removing material here. starting to go away but it's still there i mean it's still there enough that i'm gonna have to keep working this so that i can get it ready to redo still there all right so i'm gonna cut the video because i think we've made the point it's it's starting to disappear but you can even see after all that I mean, nobody wants to watch me keep sanding metal. But I've been working on this thing for several minutes. And it it's just now starting to disappear. So the cold galvanizing compound is at least that durable.